thing that is in the interest of uh, the nation and on the, the same interest of football in general and the interest of the president of the GFA, the president is acting in the national interest. And once you act in the national interest, it's greater than the law. So we, we are, I support the decision of the president to dissolve the football uh, association. And I don't see it as an interference directly in affairs of football administration, but an intervention, temporal intervention to put things in order. And, and, and the, the level of anger in the people of Ghana, and, and, and the other people in, in this nation, if the president don't act, I don't know what is going to happen. A knee-jerk reaction. Granted, yes, that uh, the Anas video brought about some revulsion of the people who were managing the affairs of GFA. Granted, we all condemned it. We all felt that it was a disgrace to the Ghanaian people. But the reaction from government is one I would call as a knee-jerk reaction. The reason being that there is a Supreme Court ruling that says that the GFA is a voluntary association made up of private individuals. And so government does not control the activities as the GFA. So I thought that government should have averted its mind to that ruling. People are saying it's not a interference by an intervention. And I say that either way, it is a wrong move because if you look at the GFA status, there are provisions in there to deal with matters such as this. So the owners of the clubs or the administrators of the club should have been invited by government so that they could have been an alternative to the current GFA if they want to dissolve it. But for government to go ahead and say, they are dissolving it, or they have plans to dissolve it, or they are working towards dissolving it, for me, was a wrong move. Because, as you are aware, FIFA frowns upon any government interference here in football. And so, for government to make that announcement, and I'm now hearing the Minister for Sports saying that they would now sit with FIFA and the CAF administrators, presupposes that they did not think through before.